He's headed home. Well, that's not Sheeta Beach. He's going to the marina to put the outboard on her tomorrow. I'll get her home tomorrow afternoon. I've got to take my truck in the shop, put a trailer hitch on this van, and then I'll pick it up in the afternoon. It takes about three hours to put the hitch on. I don't think it takes but about a half hour or so to put the motor on. 9.9 .9. Too hot so fuel injected. Well, it's 6.11, and we're getting ready to depart the market. It was a pretty good day. We had 35 knives today, or 35 blades. It was blazing hot, though, buddy. But now, now we're heading to the project. The project I was telling you about all week. I'll be down in about five minutes, because it's, it's in this neighborhood right here. You're gonna like it. Okay. You know we've been looking at a kayak. You know we've been looking at a thing called a solo skiff. Well, we found a super duper deal. Neither one. We're gonna be in the boat business pretty soon. I'll show you in a couple seconds. No kayak. <laughs> no solo skiff. Boston Whaler, 1980, vintage, brand new paint, gel coat. Chris's son is towing it home for me with his truck. I'm taking my truck in tomorrow to get a trailer hitch put on it. You want to go down there to the light? Then I'll be able to tow it, pick it up, put the outboard motor on it tomorrow. Getting a 9.9 .9 Tahatsu fuel injection. Well, there she sits till tomorrow's going to put the motor on her tomorrow. David's chaining it to the fence. Ninety-six today. I just cut the grass. Well, our project starts right here. It continues along like this. You know, we were close to buying a kayak. We were probably closer at buying a solo skiff. We ended up with a 1980 vintage restored Boston Weller with an old Johnson on it. I decided, I declined the Johnson and bought a new 9.9 .9 fuel injected Tahatsu. Just got it back about a half hour ago. Stand by. It's painted with eggshell blue, all grip inside, white, all grip outside. Too hot, Sue. I was looking at a Mercury, but a Mercury doesn't make the EFI engine in anything but 15 and above. And if you know anything about hot, the hot suits, they make all the Mercury engines from 20 horsepower or less. They're all made by Tohatsu. They just change the cover and a 9.9 .9 Mercury has a gear shift on the side where the Tohatsu has a gear shift in front. That's one of the major differences. Plus, 9.9 .9 is fuel injected. 
in Tahatsu only. That's the smallest one they offer. I got some life jackets and some crap I needed today. I may take it for a spin tomorrow after the farmer's market. It all depends. See how she knocks along. I've had six of these in my lifetime. 1965, I had a 13 footer. Four or five years later, I had a 17 footer. When my kids got big enough, I bought one of them a 15 footer. And then a few days later, I bought an 11 footer. And then when my daughter got quite older, I bought her a 17 footer. They're nice little boats. They're a little pricey, but they hold up okay and hold a value. Well, comes with a little tool kit. Screwdriver, pliers, spark plug wrench. I guess this is a spare pull cord, a spare cutoff switch and a spark plug, and a fuel line. And I guess in this little teeny box, there's a little teeny fuel tank. I think it's like three and a half gallons. Let's get it out of there and see. Yep, three and a half gallons. Got a quick disconnect right here. You pop that on and off right there. It's got a standard type gas plug that plugs right onto the motor right there. Probably gonna take it off tonight. I'm not gonna leave it on here. Weighs, uh, I can't remember if it weighs 84 pounds or 97 pounds, I forget. I've been looking at the Mercury's in these so much I can't remember which one's which. Well, it comes with a Tahatsu calendar. Tahatsu hat. Manual. I wasn't sure it would come with a manual. I did a, I downloaded a, a manual today. Bigger print. Same lady does my uh, Equinox manuals. This was on the engine. I, ain't, I haven't read this yet. I don't know what it is. Okay. I'll get back to you.